Hey everybody, it's Mr. Giles. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to create a beach background in paint.net. So we've done a couple other different backgrounds and you can look through my paint.net tutorials to find those, but today we're gonna to create a beach. So, I think beach is really simple um, and I'm gonna show you how to get a very quick beach that you can use in your animation or video game um, without too much work. Uh, today's music is provided by uh, Caribbean Island relaxing hour music. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. It's very nice though. And, and you can go find that later. So, first step, let's just start with a brand new um, uh, paint.net here, okay? And I, I think it defaults at 800 by 600. So that's what I'll use, 800 by 600. Okay, so phase one is to just get our lines. So I always just get the line tool, I select black, and I'm gonna make it a little thicker because it makes it a lot easier to see uh, what we've got going. So I'm gonna start with my line here and I'm gonna just make a, um, I'm gonna have sort of a beach area over here and this is gonna be the beach and then this is gonna be the horizon out here and then the sun will be up there. And I'm gonna make sure that my lines go right to the edge so that when I fill with my paint bucket tool, I won't have any problems. So, um, and actually, I'm gonna use my magic wand to select instead of the paint bucket. So I'm gonna start with the sand. And the sand is um, a golden, you know, yellow color. And if you wanna get more fancy with colors, if you ever have problems with your colors not working the way you think they should, click on more. And you're gonna see that you can actually change like the darkness of the color. So I might go with like a darker set. So you can change these things and then you can always go back and reset them if they're not working the way you want. Or you just click on a color over here and see it auto resets kind of your basic colors. And you have like more see-through colors down here. Um, so I'm gonna start with just the basic yellow and then I'm gonna sort of make it a little darker. And I'm gonna pick my secondary color, which is also going to be a yellow color, but maybe, maybe more yellow. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna to go to less. Then I'm gonna to go to my gradient tool. I've already selected with my magic wand, so I have the marching ants or the selection area. And I'm just gonna click and drag. Oh yeah, that looks great. It's kind of got that, that like, just gives it that three-dimensional feel. Now, the water. I'm gonna just pick two shades of blue, okay? So I'm gonna go with that really uh, rich blue there, and then I'm gonna click on the yellow, and I'm gonna go with a slightly, maybe a darker blue, like that, okay? See how that looks. Now I'm gonna, before I do it, I need to click the magic wand to select the area so that the, the, the gradient is only gonna happen in that area, okay? And then if you hold shift when you uh, do your, I'm sorry, when, once you've got your gradient tool selected, it kind of does a straight line. Oh yeah, that looks really nice too. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna stretch. I'm gonna start up a little higher. There we go. Or if I want it to be a little lighter, I can start down lower like this. And then I hit Enter, and then you'll see it gets rid of that thing. And then if I hit the Control D, that's a deselect. It deselects. So now I just got my sky, and I'm going to select the sky. Oops. Control Z. I just clicked on the screen. I forgot to select my area. And this is all on one layer. You can do this on separate layers and that will give you the ability to do some other things. And you can actually change that later if you want. But for right now, we're gonna keep it real simple. And I'm gonna go with the most sky blue sky. Well, maybe I'm gonna make this a sunset. So we'll go like a, a red and then like an orange color. Let's try it. Let's just see how that looks. Oh yeah, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's a nighttime at the beach. There's so many ways you can do this. So, hmm, okay, yeah, there we go. So now I've got my sky. You are free to do different experiments um, with how you want this to look. Um, and then I'm going to uh, add a palm tree. So I'm just gonna go, I just typed in palm tree PNG and I've already got it here, so and then I'm gonna right click when I find my image, I'm gonna copy image. And I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna create a new layer. It's good to create a new layer anytime you're gonna um, add an object. Okay, I'm gonna say keep canvas size, it's really big. So to shrink it, 
I'm going to zoom out so I can sort of see the edges, so I can see it. I'm going to hold shift. This is really important. Hold down shift and then click and drag. And what that does, if you'll see, it's staying in the perfect ratio. If I don't do that, watch what happens. If I do this, it, you get your tree, it gets all squished out. So I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to say, OK, there's my tree. You're going to notice right now that it is uh, solid. There's a solid white box, which doesn't really look like it belongs there. So I'm going to use the magic wand tool. And I'm going to hold, uh, if you click it once, you'll see it's sort of getting most of it. I'm going to hit delete and see how it did. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let me let me zoom in here and see if that got everything. It, it sort of left in some, you'll see that there's some stuff in there. I can hold down, I believe it's control, no, maybe it's shift. Yeah, if you hold shift, it will select all of that color on that layer, even if they're not touching, which is a really handy tool. Then I hit delete, boom, look at that. It got pretty much rid of all of that. I can zoom back out. Now I've got my tree, and then I can put it uh, kind of wherever I want. I think, you know, like right here, so we see it against the horizon. And then, just to make it blend in better there at the bottom, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna use the magnifying glass here, and I'm just gonna drag a square, and it's gonna zoom into that area. It sort of doesn't feel like it blends in very well, so I'm going to uh, put a selection, and I'm gonna make sure I'm on the palm tree layer. I'm gonna even name that palm tree, okay? And I'm gonna blur the bottom just a little bit. I'm gonna just see, I don't even know which one here. I'm gonna just try one and see what happens. Let's just, nope, that's not what I wanted. So let's try another one. Let's try uh, the Gaussian. Maybe too much. One, I'm just gonna go to one. Just a tiny blur at the bottom. So it sort of blends into the sand just a little bit more. There's probably a better way of doing this. I'm totally open to that. Like maybe I could paint a little sand here. In fact, let me go to the background. I'm gonna use the color picker. I'm gonna pick some of that, that gold color. And I'm gonna go back to the palm tree layer and I'm gonna get my paintbrush. And I'm just gonna sort of paint around the bottom, sort of like it's buried in the sand. And, and that may not be the best solution. There's, there might be a there might be a better way. I'm open to ideas if you have an idea. Um, by the way, to zoom back out, you can just go down here, or you can use Control plus Control plus and minus is a zoom in and out. And there I have a little beach, and it's got a perfect place for my character to run out. He could jump out into the water, he or she, um, and um, there could be a sunset back here too. I could do a do a sun. Um, there's a lot of variations on this, uh, but. There's your beach. Enjoy your time.